The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. This is the time when light fades and shadows lengthen, and sounds are subdued, all as God intended. This is the time when others greet the morning, while we meet the night, and the world continues to sing in all the accents of creation, a love song to its maker. In the world, many things happen at night. People travel, people meet, people have secret conversations. People lie awake restless, people sleep through exhaustion. So as we embrace the darkness and seek our rest, let us take with us some words and thoughts from the Bible. When Herod realised that he'd been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious. He gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity. It always astounds me how amazing love or good news can provide such violent responses. There are those in the world who do everything they can to stop the plan of God. However, God will always prevail. His kingdom will advance. Our prayers for today are for the persecuted church. The charity Open Doors reports that 322 Christians are killed every month because of their faith, and 214 churches destroyed. For many of our brothers and sisters, to follow Jesus is to face the possibility of suffering. How can we help? Are there practical steps we can take to show our unity in Christ? Let us pray. Lord, your word tells us that when one part suffers, we will all suffer. We pray now for our brothers and sisters across the world who are being persecuted for their faith. And we pray for all persecuted people that your love will be with them. Thank you, God, that you see all that your children go through. Thank you that no tears shed that you don't see. And thank you that you are a just God. Lord, we pray for the persecuted church. May your people know that they are not forgotten. Bring comfort and strength. We pray for those who have lost loved ones through the violence of others. Let them know that Emmanuel is with them. Amen. Let us pray. You never sleep, O oh God. You are always awake, always watching, always willing the world and its people to turn in the right direction. So tonight, will you comfort those who cannot sleep because of illness or worry or fear or for reasons they cannot understand? God be near them. God be near them. And tonight, will you be close to those who wait patiently or impatiently for a birth or a death? For a visit, or for the pieces of their life's jigsaw to fit together. God be near them. God be near them. And tonight, will you be close to those who wonder, who look for inspiration, who long to be with the one or the ones they love, who hope to recognise the right time when they can say, I'm sorry, or I love you, or even enough is enough. God be near them, God be near them. And God, listen to us as we share with you whatever joys or sorrows, discoveries or questions we will take with us into the night. God be near us. God be near us. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake, or watch, or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend to the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. 